What up, teacups? It's your fairy vlog mother, and welcome back to One Off Wednesdays. Uh, today we're going to be playing Would You Rather. It's a very simple, free browser game. Most of you guys have heard, it all, heard of it already, so let's just jump right in. Our first question is, would you rather sleep in your parents' bed every night or weep every time someone tells a joke in front of you? Now, I had a few minutes to ponder this one, and so I'm going to go with sleep in my parents' bed every night, and I'll tell you why, because it doesn't say that they have to be sleeping in their bed with me. It could just be any bed that was once theirs is now mine, and I have to sleep in it every night so I'm okay with that sneaky sneaky logic a little bit and it looks like slightly more people agree with me so yeah doing it awesome next question would I rather see the future or change the past I'm gonna go with see the future just because I ain't changing the past as, as screwed up as some past events have been I don't feel confident in my ability to change them without screwing up the entire timeline so I'd rather just see the future yeah, and slightly more people would also rather do that thing, so a little bit of caution going on. Next one, um, be a rich but stupid footballer or be a genius but a poor scientist. So you're a genius and you're a scientist but you're poor, or you're rich and stupid and I'm assuming when they say footballer they mean like soccer player as in what the rest of the world calls football and not American football. Hmm, which is the, I, I prefer the kind of football that we call soccer here. Um, Hmm. I don't know. Being smart is nice. I, I think I'm gonna go with smart. I just... Oh wow, that's a really even split. That's exactly right down the middle. It's hard though. It's like, you're rich and you're dumb, but you're famous. Or you're smart, but you're still poor as shit. So who knows? I don't know. That, that was a hard one. That I mean, I wouldn't say hard, but it was an interesting one. Okay. Let's see. Would you rather be a vegetarian and love a meat eater, or be a meat eater and love a vegetarian? Um... I don't care what my partner's dietary preferences are, they can eat whatever the hell they want, and I prefer to eat meat, so I would rather do this. And so would a lot of other people, so I think most people would rather love someone who is vegetarian than be one, but in the end it's like, it's their body, they can put in it whatever the fuck they want, I don't care. Next question. Be waterboarded to death or be electrocuted to death? I actually kind of forget what waterboarding is. Um, I don't think it's just straight up drowning you with something else, but I cannot remember what waterboarding actually is. Um, it's I'm just drawing a complete blank right now, so by default, I'm gonna go with electrocution. And so did a lot of people, so apparently waterboarding sucks. Whatever it is, I need to go look it up because I completely forget. But I know it's a torture method of some kind, so there we go. Let's see, would I rather... Oh, wait, there's more at the top there. If you were stranded on a desert island, what would you do? Would you rather try to escape by building a boat or stay there and hope to get found? I think, if I remember correctly, more people have better luck staying there and hoping they get found, assuming that there's fresh water. Because if you just, you know, make a shitty little raft and go out in the ocean, you're probably gonna die. So assuming that this life, that this island can support life to some degree, I'm gonna stay there and make like an SOS thing. Ooh, and I am not in the majority with this. Yeah, I mean, from all the stories I've heard of where people actually got rescued from an island, it's because they had like a big SOS made out of rocks or something. I haven't heard of a whole lot of people being saved after building a raft, but I don't know, who knows. Next question. If you were earning a PhD and you were offered a high paying job, would you rather continue studying or leave school to take the job? Having gotten a degree, I can tell you just take the job. You will have time to finish your degree later if it's even relevant to the job. The whole point of going to school, well, one of the major points of going to school is to get a high paying job because you have a degree, but if you can get that without getting the degree, then just take the job. You can finish schooling later if it's that important to you. And it looks like I'm in the majority on that one, so cool, cool, cool. Would I rather be an orc or a night elf? I'm gonna go with night elf. It's just, just personal preference. I like me some elves. They're nice, they're pretty, they're cool, they're badass, and I am not alone. 77% of people agree with me, so yeah, go team elves. All right. Uh, would I rather have knee-length hair or have a one-foot-tall mohawk? I see no problem with having hair down to my knees. I mean, there was a time in my life when I seriously wanted to have ridiculously long hair, and I got it pretty long, like I got it down to like almost my belly button a little bit. It didn't look great on me, but I'd still rather go back to having really long hair than having a mohawk, because that's just super high maintenance. With long hair, you can just braid that shit, throw it up in a bun, you know, there's ways to make long hair function like short hair, depending on how you style it, so I'm gonna go with knee length hair. And slightly more people are down with that, so yeah. 
But no hate on the mohawks. I mean, if you're down to take care of a one foot tall mohawk every day, then more power to you. Okay. Would I rather be Cinderella or be Ariel? Ooh, I could be a mermaid? And see, it doesn't tell you what you have to do. Like, it doesn't say that you have to, like, play out their entire storyline. So I'm gonna go with Ariel because I think being... I think being a mermaid would be more fun and also, like, Cinderella's life kind of sucks a lot up until she meets the prince. And so I'm like, you know... I'd rather be Ariel, and then I can decide what I want to do with my life, and I would probably just stay a fucking mermaid, because why the fuck not? And there we go. There we go. Logic and logic and ing and ing and out, people. Okay, would I rather watch Lost or The Office? Hmm. I was never really a huge fan of either one of these shows, but I've seen more episodes of The Office, and I kind of like it a little bit more just because Lost, like... I don't know, like, some of it was interesting at first, but then after a while it just stopped taking itself seriously plot-wise, which is why I never really got into it, so... Well, I mean, it took itself seriously, it just didn't think itself through. There were too many plot holes for my taste. So I'm gonna go with The Office. As cringy as it is sometimes, I'm gonna go with The Office. Okay. Boom, done. Would I rather work for Apple and know all of their secrets, or work for Google and know all of their secrets? Well, I don't use a whole lot of Apple products. The only one that I have is my phone, so I feel like working for Google makes more sense for me just because I have more stuff that uses Google, and also I'm addicted to YouTube. I watch it all the time. I'm making it now, so knowing all of the back-end stuff about YouTube would actually be really beneficial for me, so I'm gonna go with Google. Nice. Also, I don't know if that includes, like, everything in the Google search engine, like you would just magically know all of the searching stuff, which I don't think it does, but I think you just know all the secrets of Google, the company, but even so, I feel like that would make, uh, that would make more sense for my life. All right. Would I rather be stoned to death or grounded? Grounded as in when your parents say you're grounded? Because you don't die when that happens. So I'm gonna go with that, unless there's some other definition to the word grounded that I don't know. I'm assuming grounded, because I would be alive, you know? That, that would be preferable to having rocks thrown at me until dead. Unless there's some other weird definition of being grounded that I don't know about, but uh, that was a weird question. Okay, if you work in close proximity to a coworker all day, would you rather they had a terrible body odor or they played your least favorite music on repeat constantly? My sense of smell has never been the best. It's not bad, but I think I would eventually go nose blind to something, and for me, noise and or music I don't like is a big stressor. Like, it'll just make me unreasonably angry after a short period of time, so I feel like I'm gonna go with bad body odor, because I feel like I just get used to that quicker. And nobody, well, not nobody, but less people agree with me, so I don't know. Few the proud, those who cannot smell well. Whatever. All right. Would I rather overdose on every drug at the same time or fall off a hundred story building? Hmm. I feel like overdosing on every drug ever would be more painful because it's like that gastrointestinal, nervous system, respiratory system, like every organ system in your body is freaking out now because of all the shit you've put in it. Versus a hundred story building, after a short drop, if you landed like on your head or something, it would be a very quick relatively painless death, or at least it would be quick even if it did hurt, so I'm gonna go with the 100 story building because I think that would be a slightly more merciful death. Assuming that these are gonna kill me, because how could they not? I'm gonna go with the building! And it's, it's kind of an even split. Slightly more people would rather have a drug trip as their last experience, I assume. But if you're overdosing on everything, I can't imagine it would be a good trip, but I don't know. I've never done drugs or anything like that. Um, would I rather work a minimum wage job for the rest of my life or live in the wilderness for the rest of my life? Hmm... I am quite the loner, and I do like nature even though I don't go outside very much, but I mean, live in the wilderness, I mean, do I have a cabin? Am I living literally outside like an animal? And I think just to be safe I'm gonna go with the minimum wage job just because, like, at least I have internet that way, probably. Oh, that's very evenly split. Yeah, I mean, the wilderness part is kind of vague though, like, what do you have? You know, what, what, do you have a cabin? What, what do you have here? I don't know. Do you even have the skills to survive out there? I don't know. All right, let's see. If you were a dog, would you rather be a stray on the street or have bad owners? Hmm, I would rather be a stray on the street because then there's a chance that someone nice would eventually adopt me. Whereas if I have bad owners, then my life just sucks a lot. I mean, ugh, animal abuse sucks and is horrible and I'd rather just be a stray at that point. 
and so would everybody else. Well, most everybody else. Uh, so cool, cool. All right, would I rather die from hypothermia or die from hyperthermia? Hmm, I don't know a lot. I mean, I know the basics about both of those conditions, but I don't know which one would be longer and more painful. My assumption would be hypothermia because you're literally freezing to death. I feel like that's gonna take longer, whereas hypothermia, I mean, I'm sorry, hyperthermia, whereas the overheating one, I do know a little bit about heat stroke and heat exhaustion because we get trained on it at work a lot. Um, I feel like that might be a faster way to go, but I, I honestly don't know. I'm gonna go with hyperthermia, like overheating. Oop, nope. Everybody else picked the other one. I don't know. I haven't researched those conditions enough to really know which one would be the more merciful of the two. Um, I would assume that frostbite would hurt more because if you're dying of hypothermia, chances are frostbite is also in your future, and as I understand it, that's pretty painful, so I don't know. I don't know. Would I rather have a first edition holographic Charizard or get $20? I can get 20 I have a job, I can get $20, give me the Charizard card, man. All about that nostalgia. Uh, though I do still have my old Pokemon cards from back in the day. I didn't play the card game, but I did enjoy collecting the cards. And my favorite one, my very first shiny that I ever got, my first holographic card, was a holographic Gyarados, and I still have it, and it's, it's awesome. I love those. I'm not keeping them to get money out of them, I'm just keeping them for pure nostalgia. And adding another lovely card to my collection would be fantastic. And that one would actually be worth something in the event that I desperately needed money, but I'd probably just keep it. I'd probably just keep it. Would I rather perform petty thievery for a living or perform grand larceny for a living? Well, both of these things are going to get me in trouble. Well, the second one's going to get me in a lot more trouble, but it's also going to be more fun. So if I'm going to be a thief and get in trouble either way, I might as well steal some good shit. So let's steal the good shit. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to be on the wrong side of the law, go big or go home. You know, I mean, if, if you're going to do it, just do it. Okay, would I rather forget who I were or forget who everyone I know is? I would rather forget who I am just because it would be a little bit less awkward and then I can kind of like rediscover myself because if I forget who everybody else is, now I just feel like an asshole and I don't like, I don't remember any of my friends' backgrounds or stories that they've told me. I'd rather forget who I am because like, when I like something, it's very obvious I'm a very emotional person, and so I don't think it's going to take me all that long to figure out who I am. Again, because I'm not... I've never had much trouble with that. I'm, I'm pretty good at introspection, so let's go with that one. And there we go. Yeah, because it's then it's just one person you have to relearn versus everyone else in your life. So, you know, I feel like that would make more sense. Okay. Would I rather take a suppository of vitamins daily or take a syringe? Of vitamin stately. I'm gonna go with suppository. I'm probably gonna be in the in the minority on this, but I I don't have a fear of needles, but I've never done a self-injection before, and I feel like I would fuck it up. I feel like I just don't have the training to do that correctly, and then you're constantly poking yourself, whereas like a suppository, it's like it's uncomfortable, but at least I'm not gonna accidentally kill myself that way, because if you inject yourself wrong and you get an air bubble in there, you can die, and I feel like this is just the safer route, so I'm gonna go to the suppository. Ooh, very, very evenly split on that. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Would If you had your choice of a portable game device, would you rather... Oh, I already have a DS, so that's easy. Uh, yeah, basically my DS, um, well, I have a DS XL. It's like a $200, $300 Pokemon machine, because that's all I use it for, but I have no regrets, so... It's a very even split on that, though I'm surprised that the PSP has as many votes as it does, because I just haven't heard of a lot of games coming out for it, but then, I don't know, maybe I'm just not paying attention. Who knows? Okay, let's see. Would I rather be able to name a new periodic table element, or win a gold medal at the Olympics? I'm gonna go with the gold medal, because that means I have a skill of some kind. Um, naming an element would be cool, but I feel like the gold medal, if I win one, it means that I had the skill to win one, and then that skill would be more valuable to me than just getting my namesake or any other type of legacy that I want on the periodic table, so I'm gonna go with the gold medal. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's, I mean, it's, it looks like a big majority, but it's really closer to 60-40, to so that's still kind of, like, there's a decent number of people in the team chemistry there. Okay. For the rest of my life, would I rather marry a new random person every year, or marry one random person and stick with it? 
Ooh, that's a good one. Okay, I think we might have to end on this one because that's a really good one. Okay, we're gonna end on this because I... Damn. I mean, on the one hand, if you're marrying a new random person every year, you're gonna get a lot of people who are just kind of eh, and you're gonna get a bunch, like, a couple people who really suck, but thankfully you get rid of them after a year, and then you might get, like, one person that you really want to be with forever, and then you can't because you have to marry someone else at the end of the year, and that would suck. I feel like that would be just a roller coaster of emotions, but then if you're marrying one random person and you're stuck with it, mmm, what if they suck, or if you guys just aren't really into each other all that much? I don't know, like, ugh, like, the first one's a total roller coaster, but at least it's got some chance for happiness. Well, not that the second one doesn't, but you just, ugh, I don't know, I don't know, that's a hard one. Okay, so we're gonna end on this one. Tell me what you guys would pick in the comments below, and also check out the poll in the description below, and, um, yeah, just let me know what, which one you would pick, and also, uh, if you want to see me do more of this game, I'm totally open to doing more of this, so. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, uh, tell me what you guys think, and who knows, your wish just might get granted. Toodles!